Hello everybody, Sid here again with another Tiny Rogues Run, the best action combat roguelike out there. And today we're gonna play the much requested Druid. Now it has been a couple of days since you guys requested it, but I'm recording these all back to back, so that's why we're a bit behind. Also, there has been a huge new patch, and the main takeaway here is that they buffed the weapon upgrading. Now this is a lot cheaper. This used to be 10, 20, 30, and then 40 over here, but now it's actually 10, 20, 15, 20, 25, I think. And also they made the weapon upgrades themselves better. Instead of 5% more damage, that means multiplicative, it does 10% more damage multiplicative. So that's a maximum of 40% more damage at a plus four weapon. So that actually makes leveling up weapons really powerful. That's good to know. And let's play with the druid here who has as a passive uh, the summon and level up spirit animals companions at druid shrines. So we're most likely going to play pets. Uh, starting equipment is ivy scroll, which is attacks, which is, um, yeah, 400 to 800 damage. That's a lot for a starting weapon. And it also grants 25% increased nature damage as an item. So that is it. We don't have any pets. We don't have anything. Let's go for bombs. Might as well be able to get said uh, secret rooms might not and right here we got our first secret room that's very lucky and i also got a key but intelligence on the right side we're gonna have intelligence and we got also a free level uh, i mean a level is this a free xp point i guess off into intelligence as we're most likely gonna be intelligence build as far as i'm concerned uh is this a multi dps thing like can i set this up and then they run through and die or is it on spawn it seems like it's a multi dps thing money against this is new druid shrine shrine deployed enterman with nature grants plus one experience we definitely will chase down every single druid shrine possible that's the idea what do you want to do someone new spirit companion because i don't have any right now choose a companion wolves oh nice it begins it begins Summon two spirit wolf companions spirit wolves do this amount of damage each wolf grants one percent increased damage per companion you have oh we're gonna have a lot of them and then Spirit Beer attacks, melee attack, 20% equip load capacity. Ooh, also really cool as an idea. And Eagle, 10% increased movement speed. I guess we go with Wolves, trying to go full on on the companion idea. Increase damage per companion you have. Each Wolf grants 1% increased damage. Wait, this is for us, right? But we're gonna go full on companion build. I'm gonna go Wolves. 100% companion build. I guess this is permanent now. We're gonna try to get every single one of these. Grants 5 souls. Uh, I guess we're gonna go for five souls. In general, that is important to get. Now, for what back, what the uh, fight we're gonna go with? I don't remember what the last one I was. I, theoretically, what what do I start with? Whatever I start with, that's what we're gonna go for. I start with good, so we're gonna go the good path. Let's get intelligence, of course. Hopefully, we're gonna get um, what is it called? Minion related buffs here. So let's see what we can get. I don't know what companion buffs exist. Ten percent power per soul heart you have up to a hundred. Uh, your equipment load capacity is halved, but you can have some crushing hit chance. Your companions grant no stats to you, but you can have two more maximum companions. Is that a good idea? Is that a good idea? I don't think that's a good idea, right? Why Why is that even a thing? While well, you have a mana star buff effect. I mean, this is not good. Or is it? So, can I have my power? I can see my stats. That's a good idea. For example, I could see where my power is. It should be on offense. Theoretically. So, give me a sec to actually look where my power is because I don't want to... Yeah, give me a sec. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, power is right here. It says zero. So, I don't really know... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Nature damage, 81%. I mean, th these 46s across the board, I'm going to assume is what we got. Let let's get the more pets and see how that's going to work out. So, are we... Do we have less than... Yeah, now it's 43 across the board. So, that means we lost the boost that these two were giving us, but at least we have them. So, from here on out, we're just straight up going to go with as many as pets as possible. Right? That's the idea here. We just want to get as many pets as possible. So, they rush the opponents down. And we win because of that. DPS-wise, we're very powerful here. Of course, it's not the pet themselves that are doing this. Now, uh, now because I got a pet passive, I should start getting more pets. Also, they changed the fact that you gain souls when you kill a boss perfectly and made it so that you high roll. So this, for example, might be high roll. It didn't show it really. What is this? Grant 20% increase attack speed and 20% increase movement speed while in mana burnout. Not really. Each point of strength additionally grants increased top end damage. That's nice. Protects you from getting cursed. That's really good. 
and one luck we're gonna go with luck without a second thought off we go starting with one luck is really 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 powerful and now we obviously want to find at least one companion so we can spawn three of them or if not more i've never had this plus two companions by the way and this is the new thing they added yummy give me souls oh you're still here aren't you and this now you can trade three of these souls to gain one max health or one max stamina which is godlike or one max mana which is also godlike if you play mage Otherwise, you can just attune your items or fully heal. And this is on every single room. Like, as long as you maintain 3D souls, you will be straight up gaining uh, stats for free, which is literally making the game better. I would say let's go gold so we start gathering gold. I don't really care about intelligence uh, dexterity this much. And as you see, the pets are flying off to destroy opponents. We need to find a pet. Up, up, we go always, always, always Druin shrine. Uh, shrine. Always. Every single time. Uh, by the way, in case I get so many pets that it was a bad idea to have this thing, I can just roll it away with a good old obsidian dice. So we're not super locked into that. Someone new or level up one? Ooh, you know what? Let's level up and see what the idea is, and then we're gonna go with someone new. Uh, choose a companion to level up. With each level, the companion grants you 100% increased stats and deals 10% more damage. Damage multiplicative, obviously. 100% increased stats. Okay, so these are powered up now. Uh, we're gonna obviously go with a weapon as we don't have one right now. I do enjoy these chests. They are the most powerful ones, but we need a weapon of choice here. Shotgun prism stuff. Shotgun is lightning damage. Also does magical damage. Magical isn't really something specific. Burning leaf wand. Burning plus nature. I am nature already. I guess we're gonna go with this most likely. And then we got magical boomerang. I would say let's go with this. It's your magic staff. Yeah, let's go with this. I thought I think it was plus one, but I don't think it would. Ah, nice. It's, it's nice. Two keys against intelligence. I would really like to run intelligence, but let's go with two keys as it's, first of all, a high roll. And secondly, we definitely, definitely want to uh, get keys. Keys are very important. And here we go. Let's also get dice. Dice are the most important thing in the game. Now, of course, having bombs is also pretty important, which I can't really use there. But still, all of these dice here are going to definitely help us out throughout the run. Let's find my keys. Um, now I want. I would like to obviously gather money to start be able to craft my weapon, especially because it only costs like 10 coins. Magic weapon, like this is accessory. We don't have an accessory. Let's go into accessory. I could roll these, honestly, to go for something like companions. Let's actually try to force companions here. Uh, the earlier we get them, here we go. Everything is going to be a companion. The earlier we get a companion, the better. Now, of course, we might not get good companions. But in the same vein, we might also very well get good companions as uh, I have plus two luck. So theoretically, I just got hit because I'm stupid. This is the heart we. This is the heart that I have only on the first three boss fights. So it's not like we lost anything. The only thing we lost here is the th four pedal souls and also 25% chance to find a higher. Well, look at this. We got an epic one. What does this do? Increase attack speed and it's 0 0.25. So I can have 50,000 of these. Uh, this is increased range damage and strike melee damage, and this is increased crushing. Wait, each Borg runs 0% increased damage. Yeah, they do not do anything. Uh, this, uh, I think we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with the one that gives us attack speed, and we're gonna just, I mean, it's not gonna give us attack speed, but I'm gonna just spawn a bunch of these. And now we have already the minion armada here. And just like that, I'm a summoner build now. <laughs> Just like that. And now we want to find anything that says anything about the keyword, keyword companion. This is the same, right? Yeah, this is still the same. Let's exit. Let's go intelligence. Souls is what we want to gather now. And we obviously, as I said, do not have the attack speed boost. But we have an armada running opponents down. So that's nice. I would like to go strength and dexterity. Every single one of those has some kind of... Do I want money? I would say, yeah. Every single one of those does have some kind of main companion, minion, or whatever. And also, there are weapons and equipment that give you also even more companions. So, in general, companions uh, all around. I guess we found a weapon here, which is the Crass Blade. It's B, Dexterity Weapon. I mean, it's a good weapon, but I think we're gonna stick to my boomerangs. Definitely go events, always go events. Fishing event. Catch fish? Yeah, that's a very easy event. Just spam E when it appears. A bite, boom, whoop, done. In three seconds, you got a bit. Dispels one stack of curse, perfect. If not the best, the way I'm hating curses. <laughs> Let's continue spawning E here. A bite, whoop, done. And we got... Uh, grants Ocean Bounty on Consumption. Ocean Bounty is a buff that grants 10% increased damage, 5% increased attack speed, and 5% increased movement speed for 10 rooms. Okay, so that's like for the floor 10 if we ever get there. Let's continue going on. Boom, 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 a bite. Uh, but it broke. It is what it is. Off into keys, I would say. I don't really care about dexterity that much. Having keys in the back burner is a good idea always. 
So let's do that. Uh, I'm not really sure what exactly we're going to play stat-wise. I would assume intelligence, but on the other hand, pets, I don't think, gain anything from anything anyway. Unless there is some kind of passive that says the exact opposite. Uh, I would say let's pop a bomb for loot. Pawn shop is good and all, but I literally have only one item to sell, so that doesn't really make sense. I guess I have two items to sell. I take that back, but still, it does not feel like it makes sense. Let's pop this, trade my last bomb for two keys, fair enough. And shop, I mean, I have 24 now. Let's go with this. I still believe gold and chests are pretty worthwhile. I really enjoy them. Look at the pets eating away the opponents. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And we got bombs and keys, that's why chests are worth it. And this is a Mimic ghoul chest, that's even better, because Mimics give you double the rewards. And also have a meta progression which says two Mimics. So this is even, even better. Whoop, what are these laser beams? First time seeing this. So we got three bombs out of that, and a Dragon Sheen Gauntlet, which says increased damage on melee hits. Uh, I picked up something else, I picked up the gloves. Yeah, that's the increased damage on melee hits. And the shield is one black and two armor, 50 equip load, that's also not really possible. So forget that existing. Uh, Crimson Happy Staff and another staff. So let's read these. Demon, Demon Scythe, it's a purple weapon. We definitely have to equip that. Primary attacks did 78 to something damage and hit three times. Hitting three times might be relevant for something else. And Crimson Staff, 10% luck, which is good. Primary attacks deal damage and inflict Disintegrate. Disintegrate is a buff that stacks up to five times and does a bunch of damage. So the one weapon is this. Okay, weird to use. And then the other one is this. Okay, both of these are decent weapons. Uh, let's go with this, trying to find maybe a legendary companion at random. Because we're not specifically gonna stick to this thing. Just because we have it does not mean we're first to stick to it. We might find a rage companion, which might be better for a DPS per reasons. And we are a companion build in the first place. So let's go disintegrate and then let's send off some scythes. And also send the pets, I guess. As far as I'm aware from this guy, we should be able to get this. Just send the scythes off, man. It feels like the scythes do a lot of damage. Plus the pets, of course. Got him. Nice. <laughs> I like the armada we have, though. And now we should have four choices as I didn't get hit. And I also should have higher chance to high roll. 25% at that. It's gonna be like a little symbol, like a triangle. This is yellow, I think. Also yellow. What is this? Purple. So the game assumes that's better. This is increased damage, straight up. Dire Wolf, 95 to 203. This is 29 to 53, but this is times 4. So this is 100 to 200. Yeah, this is 100 to 200. Which is almost the same as this, but this is more. This is 100 plus and 200 plus. So let's read through these. This is 100 to 200, same thing. Why is this less? Oh, this is two times per second. Wait a minute. This is also two times per second, so forget about that idea. Rusty Revolver. Here we go. 200 to 400, one times per second. I can have three of these, and they are ranged. Shrimps. Each leech grants health damage, and they also attack 53 to 100. Uh, do I want ranged weapons? I mean, I, I don't really have that many choices right now, so uh, I guess we're gonna get something. Let's get this ocean buff, I don't care about it that much. Let's get this. Maybe we can have a mix. Maybe two of these, four of the other ones. Yeah, we can mix this up, why not? We're gonna go good, as I mentioned previously. And found a mana star companion. Magical damage. Does this scale? Can I see how these scale? This is the first weapon that actually does more than 100 to 200. Uh, although it has a very slow attack speed. One time per second. What else did we get? Increase melee damage. That's useless for us. Block. This is decent. I can actually wear this, to be honest. And this is 13 souls. We do have enough. This is 6 souls. I do want to go goodness, so... Oh, that's an accessory. Well, we still could have equipped it, but... It was not what I hoped it would be. Let's also buy this. And I would say if I buy one more... I don't need to buy one more right now. We can buy one more later. I was thinking if I can buy one more, I could have been done with a good quest and not have to deal with it anymore, but still, we're gonna go into good anyway. Intelligence is here, let's go. Now we got pistols alongside my voodoo dolls running around. And we're gonna continue just smacking whatever. I think laser beams is better here for instant damage. Tune the thing, let's go with a bomb on the secret and rare weapons for sure. Although I already have a purple weapon. No, I have one purple weapon, but it's not that crazy good. Three armor accessory. This is really, really durable. This is also good, of course. Uh, let's sell something, throw something out that is not really that important. For example, the Ivy Scroll. And let's go on. I would say we go for rare weapon. You never know what we're gonna find. This is useless. I mean, all of these are useless. Uh, not really. Disenchanting, holy staff. This does holy damage and weapon inflicts 10 stacks of glitter right away. And this does apply vulnerable. Vulnerable is that. Target takes 20% more damage. Oh, this is actually good. 
This increased damage they take. On the other hand, though, will I even use that? I mean, I'm not gonna use a blue staff. And I'm also not gonna carry a blue wand that does nothing. I would say let's buy the sapphire wand. What does this look like? Oh, it's not that it's not that sexy. We're gonna stick to the laser beams. Let's go keys, I would say. That's always safe. I see the golden chest there, but I don't think we really need it. I would like to obviously find more, what are they called, druid shrines. If not, they are the most important one, obviously. And I think we're gonna start spamming that we get a new pet. Intelligence? No, come on, man. Don't do this to me. <laughs> uh, we lost three intelligence because of that. Of course, I will always, always go for the rare shrine. Right? I will always go for this. I'm gonna go with someone a new one. Someone a new one. Okay, someone one. Uh, obviously, we're gonna go with the bear, just in case we will need the capacity. Once again, there is a good chance we're gonna throw this out. Uh, let's go intelligence, of course. Uh, I, I need to see what other passives exist first, and then we're gonna throw that out. Because right now, I'm not really aware what could be better. So, I want to have... Because the traits you find are based on what traits you have. So, I want to keep the minion traits, so I find more tr minion traits. On, on non-trigger lucky hit trigger a barrage of ice projectiles. I've never seen this. Each point of mana additionally grants more damage to mana draining weapons. Uh, not really that crazy. While you have only deal one elemental damage. You know what? Let's roll these. Increase the effect of the debuffs. This is a familiar. We take this for sure. Grants an arcane familiar companion that does damage. Increase mana pick. No, we're going to go with get another familiar. So we're full on familiar build right now. Magic weapon against 44 coins for a tavern. Let's go tavern. And why did I hear the high roll? We found a bunch of bombs and we also found the reroll guy. Definitely go for this guy. Let's buy dice. Always, always buy this guy. They also made this cheaper. They also created a new NPC, which is this one, which gives you the scale. The 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 thing that when you drink it, you get, uh, what is it called? Dashes. And the she also now fills your flasks. Uh, the game is just becoming better, man. <laughs> the game's just straight up becoming better. Uh, let's go with bombs, I would say. I could also go with upgrading weapons, but I still don't believe we have a good weapon. The weapon I'm gonna choose is gonna be some kind of weapon that says that it spawns minions. Guaranteed. Intelligence, off we go, especially now that we have a bunch of bombs. Also, we need the levels in the first place. Let's avoid. Nice, got them all, and just run away. Scythe attacks! Fo -fo 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 -foom. Not sure the scythes are that good. Also, this is instant. I can click and point and click. Everything is epic. Plus, if I don't get hit, I'm gonna high roll those epics into legendaries, and then we're gonna get a god run this early in the game. And now we have all my pets running on them. Okay, I wouldn't say the pets do that much damage. It really feels like having two more pets was not the play. Oop, avoid. Unless I also go into strength. You know what? I, I think I should go into strength. Because strength has... Uh, I definitely remember something like pack mentality. And dexterity has something like the more pets you have. Or, that, like, there are a bunch of things that in general exist. But I need to go away from sticking to only... Intelligence. Yeah, we definitely need to go into strength. Definitely into strength. And these are supposed to all be purple, and they just roll all purple. Grants more damage based on how evil. I'm not evil at all. Grants more how good. I am good. So this is 40% damage uh, at the end of the game. Attacking with a channeling weapon grants a stack of power flow. Channeling weapons are flails, bibles, and scepters. Ch power flow is a stack of stats effect that grants 5% power per stack. Stacks last 1.1 second, but it was your, 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 this is 50% damage. But I don't have any of these weapons. I'm most likely not going to have them anyway. Lucky hits. I would say this. It's a charm. Charm always goes in the back burner. So this is straight up 30% more damage. Uh, not more. Increased damage. And it's going to become 40% after I get one more stack of good as it caps at 40. And I don't have enough. Two soul hearts against five bombs. <laughs> Guaranteed two soul hearts. Guaranteed. Okay. And this room is going to be the Pied Piper. As right now we're fighting mice. And mice is always the Pied Piper. Nice, got him. Okay, let's pop this to get my little soul hearts. Boom, boom. And let's definitely go with the perfect roll here. Strength dex. Uh, strength intel is exactly what I want to be rolling. The more, the better. Uh, just always backtrack and run away of opponents. There is never, ever a reason to not run away and backtrack. These, there was enhanced electricity enhanced or something. Nice. Magic weapon against the Mimic. Always go for the Mimic, obviously. It's a potion mimic and the other mimic is a gold mimic, so really high rolls here. Because those are the two... I mean, the gold mimic and the red mimic is the best one. The, the red is by far the best one. I will just drink all these potions. I'm not really gonna care about what they do. It's not like... I'm always thinking about the following. It's not like we had them before, right? Let's go with one more max mana. Mana does damage, so obviously that's good. We continue with Disintegrate. 
Shouldn't these be doing more damage? I really feel like the scythes should be doing more damage. But my max mana, gold or shop. I would say let's go with gold shop. I mean, I don't even have room for the shop. Oh yeah, these definitely do more damage when they hit. Uh, do they? But this is easier to target. Easier to target this very often in play. Nice, the best in slot for us. Uh, there is a chance I'm missing left and right some... What are they called? Some secret rooms because I'm just rushing through this. Are the opponents still alive? Nope. Fishing chips. Fawn nature boost. Very nice. I think the next thing I would like to do now is get some... I think I, I should just get the next pet. I think that's the play. Just get the next pet. Red and new spirit companion. Let's also get the eagle. So now we have all of them. This is so awesome. Event. Obviously always go event. We found a whiskey boost, which is increased attack speed. Might as well. Let's drink it right away. I obviously, I'm hoping to find something here. I would say let's reroll to maybe try to roll. Everything is X. Here we go. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Everything is X. Specific instant and that X would be. Uh, whoa, run him down, pets. Run him down, pets. He should be dying. Got him. Okay, I think we're gonna continue with just the disintegration beam. Run him down, pets. Let's avoid. Got him. Easy enough. With the pets just chasing them down. The druid. The character that you don't even need to attack opponents. I might not even need weapons in the first place. Epic. Legendary. Epic. Legendary. Okay, I mean, I'm, I, I, I even missed where the legendary dropped. So, let's read through. Crushing hits. Chance with 200 weapons. I'm not gonna play with 200 weapons. Actually... We might play with 200 weapons. Staffs are 200 weapons. Crushing hits say that you, they always high roll. So this is good for us. Better than a shield. In completing a encounter room, if you have taken health damage, it'll recover on health. So that's only for a death door. Runs 100% more mana. What? Double mana? Okay, that's insane. Runs 50% increased damage with crushing hits. Okay, so I would say we go with a double mana. Increased nature damage is relevant when you have increased double mana. So let's throw that down, go here, and now I have 6 mana, which means we gain 60% damage out of that, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, 6 mana here, but that doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's go. I don't care about that, it's a common item. Off into the next room. We really need a pawn shop as of this moment. We are missing things, and we're fighting with the... Uh, oh, here I can now interact with this for the first time. I would say we go for stats, and specifically I would say mana. So, uh, favor well, what do I choose? Mana, because it's not one, but it's two. Mouse four. Here we go, we got another two points of mana. Melee weapons, I get equipment. I would say roll these away. Mm, I would like to get... You know what? Let's actually get this. It's not bad. That's the one thing I have to say. I dodged. By the way, dodges is, in my opinion, better than the mana I got. But because I have specifically double mana is why I'm going for this. These are epic weapons. We're gonna go epic weapons. Let's fight something. And we found a book for the channeling thing we have previously. Shadow Shuriken. I mean, it needs to have mana use. This has mana use. 25% increase damage. Legendary. 25% increase in damage. Wow, it rolled a legendary. Primary attack deals this amount of damage. Cursed hits with this weapon. Summon an Abyssal Wraith. Companion lasts for seconds and does this amount of damage. Increase your crit hit chance. I mean, I'm not gonna go curses, but still... Might as well go for that. Primary attacks deal damage. This is not... Oh, it's just spending mana. Dragon, Dragon's Breath. Scorch. I do enjoy this more than that. Quad Blasters plus two. Inflict the stack of diffusion. Which is accumulate energy damage that reaches four stacks and explodes. You know what? I want to try this. A and A. I'm a strength and dexterity anyway. Uh, strength, uh, strength, mage. strength mage anyway. Let's throw this out. Let's use that. Yeah, it's a nice weapon. Why does it once sometimes shoot one and sometimes two? Two, one... Yeah, it's it's a weird weapon. Does it say? Primary attacks deal fire damage inflict scorch. It doesn't say. Squ uh, burn, by the way, is 50% of your damage done every sec every second two times. So that's every second it does full damage. And scorch is a strackable ailment that increases fire damage taken from hits by 10% per stack. So that's a double damage, pretty much. Off into intelligence dexterity. So now we machine gun these guys down. Theoretically, we should be better at killing bosses now. Not specifically, and I, I just got hit there. That was a mistake. I didn't have dashes. Okay, let's see if there is some kind of passive here that is going to give us something. Your nature damage inflicts bleed and stack of puncture. Okay, I'm not really a nature build. On kill and on combat start, spawn a mana star somewhat far from you in the area. 
On draining accumulate amount of mana triggering lightning, each point of mana additionally grants more top end damage to mana draining weapons. I mean, this is it because I'm a mana build. I don't really want to be a mana build, but we do what we get. And here we go. I am at evil land. Uh, let's definitely sell everything. That's gonna instantly give us plus one evil, but that's it. Like, you only get the one time evil. Did I just throw something out that I wanted? I think I just threw something out that I wanted. Uh, now it is done. How did I do this? And I literally threw out the first thing. <laughs> literally, the first thing I threw out was something we needed. This is gonna stay. Plus one armor block is good. This is not needed. We're not gonna play with melee damage no matter what happens. Uh, Rusty Revolver and Voodoo Doll. I'm using both of these. Dispel one stack of curse. I don't really have curse. Yeah, these stay. When I get a bit more inventory space, uh, this is gonna instantly fill. Fit. Let's see what these guys are selling. Four gold for three. I like that. Is this a pet? This is a pet. Money bag. Each piggy bank grants increased damage per gold you have up to 50. Well, that's useless because I can. if I have one, it's 50%. If I have more, then it's not 50%. I mean, the pet I'm gonna use... Wait a minute. This has increased damage. Companions, uh, companion, dam companion damage scales with each point of XP up to times 4 damage at level 6. Does it increase with increased damage though? Because... If it does, then I should go for the money bag and try to go for a money build. Or at least maintain 50 coins. It trigger curb, 50% crit hit chance. I'm not really gonna play crit hit. This is one ethereal... Five ethereal dice. That's cool. Or two keys. Ethereal dice. I reroll your talents. We're gonna buy this for sure. And I would say we go with this pet. Now that I'm thinking about this. Right? Because at the end of the day, this is gonna give us 50% damage. Straight up. This is guns and cannons. This is attack speed. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna spawn this three times. So we're playing with piggy banks. And I'm gonna... Is this ranged? Melee damage. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna sell everything else. For money, obviously. And for inventory space. And I'm starting to think that the time has come to actually throw away that stupid thing I chose to get. So let's get this. Let's open it. That was some keys, and we also got a level out of that. Once again, the reason I'm not throwing this out is because I want to be able to find a companion related, uh, companion related passives. That's what I want to get. I don't think anything else matters here. Toxic illegal, banjo illegal. All of these are legal. Off we go. That was very lucky that we rolled into this zone. XP against the crystal lollipop. Definitely go with a, definitely go with a druid thing. Yep, let's have them all run lush upon us down. Need to use, level up forcefully here. So once again, Spirit Wolves are supposed to give us more damage. So the stats are gonna be better. Damage per companion you have. I think this is the play, man. Rotate back to Wolves. Rotate back to Wolves. This is equipment load, so that's gonna give us double equipment load, and this is gonna give us movement speed. I think we're gonna go Wolves here. And... Pawn shop again. No, we're gonna go consumables. This is a godlike, by the way. Let's actually switch. Let's actually throw the stronger together away. I'm doing the gamble right this moment. We're going full on pets buff us build. Okay, what what did I get? I got Hamster increased effect and duration of mana star buff. That's pretty useless too. Roll that away too. I'm gonna roll them all away until I find something that fits me. And we got. On picking up a mana star, three meteors draw from the sky. That's also whatever. I'm seeing the secret room. I just saw it. Taking gambles here, full on. Combustion. On the tally of five burn ticks of an enemy, when burning enemy dies, trigger an explosion. Might as well. I'm right now fire anyway. I know that I have a choice. We found a bat. Of course, we're not going to go pawn shop. We're going to go over there. We're not going to go pawn shop for one item. This weapon hits arms and crushing hits when lucky hits. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Uh, this here can high roll very heavily, so we're gonna hope for the very heavy high roll. Specifically, well, it didn't high roll. <laughs> Level ups and whatnot, these are not what I would like to get. Throw these out. So now this is giving us actually 50% total damage. And uh, the pets, the other pets are also giving us their stats. So now my offense is, yeah, look at this, plus 376. <laughs> so we're very insane now. Uh, I would say, how much can I carry now? I think I increased my carry capacity. Ah, I need to level up the boar one more time. Let's go golden chest. I still believe they are very powerful. Now that the opponents are taking explosions, they also die. Let's see what I can get. Boom. Nice bombs and repair shielding. 
I mean, this is not the armor I currently have. Shop with 147 coins, I would say yes. Weapon shop. Steady shadow grasp tome. Steady increase damage with non-crits. I'm not really crit. I mean, I am critting because I'm intelligence. Primary attack deals insane high roll damage. This weapon has 100% crushing cursed hit chance. Has 100% cursed hit chance. What? First hit chance means that you need to roll twice. And then it also triggers curse effects. Oh, that, this is actually good, now that I'm thinking about this. Uh, firebomb Codex, this is fire damage. This is good, but do I care about it? Because I'm mainly playing with a weapon anyway. Do I want to spend 14 coins for that? I don't think so. I need to also maintain my thing. Let's go strength for sure. This has some minions in it. Companions, whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, I mean, they are called companions. Boom, get the strength. And gloves is something I don't have. So let's actually try to get a glove, I guess. And I'm fighting one of the harder enemies here. But now we got all the companions on top of them. Nice, got him. And phase two is what's most of the time hitting us. Yeah, I will get hit. I really feel it. You always want to be as far away from this thing as possible when it's rushing through. Whoa. Okay, just attack wherever. And I'm getting him slowly. And we got him very nice with my armada. The armada. Man, this champion. This, this character is awesome. I really like him. Let's see what I can get. By the way, now that I have realized, the pig is not as good as the four thingies we had. I think I made a mistake by throwing away the voodoo dolls. Now that I'm thinking about this. Because four voodoo dolls would have given us more stats through the dogs. Than the 50% that the piggy is giving us. Anyway. Each point of intelligence additionally grants attack speed. I mean... I am intelligence build, so this really fits. Five resale value, this is infinite money almost. Plus one max heart, I don't care about this. Uh, do I care about infinite money almost, or do I care about 6.5% attack speed? I don't really care about attack speed that much. Let's go with plus infinite money almost, as long as I'm selling stuff. Off into good shop we go, we're gonna go good fight. Increase attack speed even more, no. Lost treasure, legendary companion, seven souls. Each mimic grants harms increase magic find. What? We take this guaranteed. We're playing with this now. This is my companion now. I've never seen this before ever in my whole life. So it didn't matter about the voodoo dolls because now we're gonna have the lost treasure forever. Now the most important thing to find by far is plus one companion. That exists in an accessory, that exists in a charm, it exists in different versions. Or maybe even a set item, like we literally want to roll that. So right now I have 100% increased luck from the Mimic. Right, harms and increase the magic find. And also plus one luck, so we roll twice. This is useless for us. Uh, grants a word on the cost of health. I'm gonna re-roll these. I would like to go left, by the way. Uh, actually... I'm gonna take the health damage. I'm taking the gamble here. Assuming that this is a godlike level up. Because health cost is expensive and not worth it most of the time. So let's assume. Grand Spargem, this is a level. <laughs> this is instantly a level for one health. I'm trading that. So throw this from the ground. Boom, get my level. Drink it right away. So this is five. Instantly level, straight up. I like it, I like it. It's worth it. Grants you an aura that inflicts shock and debuff enemies to take lightning damage from you and your companions. Isn't this what I want? You and your companions? Yeah, right? Shock aura is a lightning debuff that makes effect targets take this amount more damage. You know what? We're taking this. We're taking this. So we're going aura build, I guess. Maybe aura is how you play with companions. So now I want the fire aura too. Oh, XP. Guaranteed take that, no matter what happens. I mean, the good thing is that, yes, of course, I'm losing intelligence every time I'm doing this, which it just so happened to be intelligence every time. Maybe that's what they're forcing it to be. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. What does matter is that we still get the XP that we would have gotten, so... Obviously, we're gonna go with wolves, as wolves give us increased damage. Right now, it's each wolf grants 1% increased damage per companion. The ability... And we have... I think this is 18 right now. It's level 3. So if I press this... It should now be... I mean, I can't really check. Right? Yeah, I can't. Oh, I can. Now it's 24. It's level 4. 20 more capacity on the boar and 10% more wood speed on the other thing. Yeah, we obviously want to just level up the wolf every single time. Plus three strength, guaranteed. Yes, I think I saw with a glimpse of my eye a secret room that I instantly just never took. Um, I feel not safe. I really hate that the companions follow me. They should always track enemies across the whole map. That's my opinion. I don't need to be there. Critical hits. Grants an aura of burn. 
the debuffs take fire damage from you and your companions. Straight up. I think that's the play. And increase the fire damage that lasts for one second. On afflicting the maximum stack of shark to him. Now we're gonna go here. Now we have two auras. Ice Beef Lightning and Burn. And I'm gonna assume that there is one more, which is Poison. And... Ice? I mean, Ice... Maybe Ice. So this does three things. It makes a debuff that affected targets take more damage. It applies Burn on them for 3,777 damage, which is very, very high. One more. So... What I want to get next... Is... Do I have another Obsidian? Nope. I know exactly what I want to get. Let's go strength. I want to get the um, thing that says your auras are bigger based on how much intelligence you have. Because if I can get that, then my aura is going to be big enough to always affect everything. And if the aura affects the opponents, they take more damage from my companion. And I have so many companions that that's going to be a lot of damage. Intelligence got nice. Nice, 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 nice. So I guess you're supposed to play aura build. I mean, makes sense. You're supposed to be like some kind of aura god. It really makes sense to me. Like, um, you, because you're a summoner, you know. Summoner and Aura is really fit. I'm gonna go here. I don't think we're gonna stick to this weapon. As I said, the weapon of choice is something that says on attacks, spawn companions. If it doesn't have that keyword, there is no reason to go for it. Tavern. We do have a lot of money for a tavern. I would say yes on the tavern. Let's try to get dice. Nice. Nice dice. Get the dice. Yes. Okay, got my dice. Did I get obsidian? Didn't get obsidian. Pretty sad. And I got an underground bunker here, which I have enough money to actually go to. We might find something godlike here. Off we go. And we also found, obviously, the sell things guy. I would like to actually equip this. Oh, don't say to that. Sell that. And uh, also sell the money banks. This is definitely the best slot. There is a charm guy here, which is maybe the most important PC. Must increase damage dealt to bosses. Nope. Plus one mana, which is actually plus two mana. And plus three strength. I mean, this is useless. I should sell it in the first place. Although that would have helped my minions. Eh, too late. Isn't this plus strength minus intelligence? Not really. Silver ring. I mean, if I go plus strength minus intelligence, I might find the pets that are from strength. What's my strength right now? My strength right now is nine. Nah, I don't think so. Forget that. I would say yes to the mana. And to strength, not really. This is too expensive, I can't even buy these. Forget that, I can't buy these. Meteor armor, that's mana. Oh, this is a mana build. I mean, obviously not, we're not gonna get armor. Not armor. Three stamps and movement speed, not really. I don't think this is worth it. By the way, you can only get once minus, minus um, goodness by buying here. And I already have done that. Crystal damage damage dealt to fiends. No, I don't care about that. Either. Okay, so none of these really matter and I can't really buy the things that do matter. Uh, my weapon is unenhanced, so let's also throw three of the coins away for enhancing it into a good old quick, so it attacks a bit faster. Intelligence is obviously the play. This guy also became cheaper. Uh, 20 is a bit too expensive still in my book. Rerolling, what would rerolling help? I guess only if I roll Lucky Potion. I don't think there is anything that important. The only NPC that I really care about in that area is the dice guy. The shield is at you. Now I have infinite shielding. Set items. Are there set items for pets? Is my question, which I'm not really aware of. Upgrade a weapon. I have so many consumables that I don't need. Are there? You know what? Let's actually high roll into legendaries all. All our legendaries. A charm. A charm is a yes. Trying to fish for... No, no. Let's, let's actually roll for legendaries. We definitely don't need companions. Here we go. Everything is epic. And let's not forget, I have a 100% increased luck chance with this. Magic find chance. And I also have plus one luck with this. So I have theoretically a good chance to high roll these epics into legendaries. Because legendaries are the most busted things in the game in general. This guy's taking less damage from everything and then he died. <laughs> and then he died. And I was gonna go in the middle and become an egg, which is <laughs> such a big mistake. Done. Done. Toasted. Okay, we broke the game as always. Let's go. I think the run is super duper over now. <laughs> I think we're too busted for anything to survive. Epic, legendary, legendary, legendary. Oh, come on. It's okay, though. And this is uh, already something I can't get. This is the only legendary I can actually get. Grants two Spear Warriors companions. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And they do... Each warrior grants 10% increase attack speed. Let's go. I'm super lucky about this. What else do we got, though? Increase rips, increase radiant damage. Who cares? Grants plus to weapon upgrade level. This is plus 20% more damage. That's what this means, by the way, multiplicatively. 
And then we also got grants 50 power, but breaks if you deal more than 9,000 damage in one hit. Power scatter. Awesome. I mean, this is going to break instantly if I take it. So let's go with a good old shield offhand, which I'm going to instantly swap. Two block is better than one block and two armor because this is three shielding. This is two shielding that regenerates at the end of each room. And I got another two pets. Let's go. Okay, so I really want to get the thing that says intelligence increase your aura range. A potion against instant, uh, infinite armor. We don't want that. Let's go. I would say we go with uh, permanent armor, not infinite. I said infinite, right? I, I meant permanent. I'm trying to stay as far away as possible. I have realized, by the way, what my worst enemies are. My wor uh, Not enemies, projectiles. Whatever is zigzagging. When something zigzags, I'm not good at it. Nature, of course, over intelligence for the 15th time. <laughs> Okay, we go close, they get hit by everything, and they're toast. Nice. I want to not need to go close. Level up a spirit companion. Obviously, I'm gonna go with the wolf, because at this point, we guaranteed know that uh, the wolf is the most worthwhile. Nice. Spirit wolf, spirit wolf, level up, both of them. Oh, it's both of each, right? Yeah, 40% total. Is it 40% total? Because So, it used to be 1%, now it's 5%, and I have... One, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pets. Wait, what? Eight. This is also a pet. So, yeah, well, I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pets. That means five times. Yeah, so this is each gives us 40%. So, right now it's 80% total damage. I can even go here and double check. Yeah, I mean, 380 something percent more damage. Oh, oh. Golden chest is what I would say. Or actually, let's go intelligence to just get the build done. Here we go. Oh. I have so much health, this is useless. And I'm never ever gonna switch the shield away anyway. Like, there is no chance whatsoever that I'm gonna throw the shield away. No way. Let's get the level up. Let's hopefully get a companion here at the end. You can stack burn and bleed up to 10 stacks. That's good for the specific weapon I have. And this is, I get the poison aura. So, the play is to get the poison aura, honestly. <laughs> Because then I will have all the auras, and then the only thing I need to reroll is the combustion here, which, I mean, uh, uh, I think we go with triple aura. The other choice is to try to high roll that, you know what, I'm gonna try to high roll, because that buff I'm thinking about says that intelligence gives you 2% aura range and 2% buff power, and all the pets buff. So we definitely try to go for the high roll here. Uh, explosion and whatnot. <laughs> More power based on how many things. So this is 50% power straight up. Increase damage, increase area of effect for point of power. So this is 15% increase area of my aura and 50% increase damage. I still believe that the buffing is the other thing is better. Here it is. Each point of intelligence gives you 2.5 increased buff effect and 2.5 increased aura effect. 40% right now. Yeah, but the thing is... That, first of all, the aura effect obviously is godlike, but the thing is that this also makes the pets better. I think, right? Shouldn't it? It should. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I made a mistake, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, what is this? It's an item that we don't need. Let's, let's throw this away. Let's go on. And let's try to... Oh, pawn shop's here, nice. Let's sell the door, never gonna use that again. And let's sell the war belt. Now we're going to use that in general. And we still stick to what we have. Magic find. So now I just want to find a charm that gives me one more pet. So I can upgrade. The, so now I have two lost treasures. And maybe a glove or a boot that gives us more pets. Or even a barrier belt. Uh, what do I want to do now though? You know what? I want to try to find something to, to throw away the combustion. As that's completely relevant. And dreamer is also a bit irrelevant. But it increased my damage. So mainly combustion is relevant and dreamer is relevant. And obviously I want to find randomly another aura. Let's go strength. Is there a reason to go strength? What's my equip capacity right now? Uh, I mean we're close to the cap. I can easily find something that needs 40. But I don't care about strength specifically. Let's go get the... Yeah, let's get strength. Let's get strength. Destroy opponents. Oh, we do a lot of damage and we don't even have a good weapon. Plus one max life. This time I'm gonna get it. <laughs> the fact that I got two of them in the same area, it's a bit unbelievable. Also, my minions running opponents down. Now, of course, we want to get as much intelligence as possible. Tavern is here. Set items here. Is there any chance that the set items gonna give us something? Maybe a boot. Maybe something that matters. Tavern is dice. Let's go dice. Trying to find an obsidian dice. Uh, we found Anticurus. I already have an Anticurus. 
help. Uh, we're gonna go down, as always. You never know what you're gonna find down here. What is this? Ocean Bounty. Yeah, 10 rooms to the crazy buff. By the way, it's better than it what it used to be. Fish bones, 20% increased damage for one room. And jelly fish net, increased lighting damage. And this guy is selling us five dice. And two keys. I mean, I'm gonna definitely buy the five dice. Two keys for eight souls. I think we're gonna keep this because I'm still not good. And I need to guarantee buy, be able to buy at least one thing from the good shop. Otherwise, we are not able to get to the final super boss. Paper sheet, I don't care about that. Don't care about any of these. What's this? Illegal triangle. These are weapons. Nope. I don't think we need anything else from this zone. Let's go. And now, once again, I don't really need anti-curse. I already have one. I do enjoy having more than one on me. But I think it doesn't matter. Let's let's actually buy one more. It only costs like five coins or something. Yeah, it's only like five coins. One anti-curse. And let's roll. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna double anti-curse. And this way I can actually go into those curse rooms that I always, always, always avoid. And let's see what I find. There is not the RNG guy here. Let's roll him. Come on. I also want the weapon that gives me pets. Once again, not. Let's roll again. We're gonna spend all our money into rolling. I don't have the thing that says I need rolling anymore. Uh, bomb guy's here. I mean, let's also buy three bombs or something so I don't have to deal with that anymore. And bombs, I think, are enough. Don't care about random stuff. I still just want to get my dice. Here he is. And we also got the Lucky Potion Boy. Yes, buy the dice. And uh, then I would say... Armor is... This is not really that much need. I would say forget the Stamina Surge. And also forget the Enhancing Random Weapon. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm gonna definitely buy three Luck Potions. So let's drink Luck Potion 1. Boom. Excuse me. Luck Potion 2. And Luck Potion 3. Okay, and off into crafting. Might as well craft this weapon up. Once again, we don't need the luck. And we're gonna go intelligence against dexterity. What's my dexterity? One. Might as well bring it down to zero. Intelligence is the most important stat we can get because it increases the size of... I just blocked. <laughs> so that means we're gonna have only three choices at the boss fight. My bad. That's gone. And this is the boss fight. A pair of boots. Or just straight up everything is legendary. We're gonna go with everything is epic or everything is legendary. Everything is legendary, here we go. By the way, the reason why I know that we're rolling these is because I'm high on floor and I also have the El Magic Fine and I also have three luck. Two luck? I think two luck. Two luck. So it high rolls into high rolling. This guy should be destroyed because he's a stationary opponent and I got hit instantly, so we're not gonna get the 15% increase Magic Fine, which, by the way, is irrelevant. Because I have everything is gonna be legendary. Imagine if there is a super legendary as a choice. Imagine if we can get, like, super legendary. No, legendary, legendary, legendary. Okay, this is a minion, I know that. Yep, this... Uh, no, it's not. Grandhams increase effect of status effects applied by auras and 50% increase aura radius. Oh, this is better than this. And this is actually guaranteed better. And now I also won't need this thing. Yeah, this is guaranteed better than that. Grand V8, offhand. Grants fire orbital. The cold orbital, so this is for an orbital build. And this is really helpful, who cares. Okay, we're gonna go with the ore, obviously. Increase the effect of them and also the radius. This is really, really, really good for the build we're going for right now. Uh, Anti-curse. We have three anti-curse. I don't care about this, though. Let's definitely equip this. Yeah, and I don't care about mana, as I said. We're not gonna be a mana build. I'm mainly a pet build and aura build. Okay, three intelligence, very nice. Let's go on. I'm gonna keep all my things because I want to go into the light route. Whoop, dodge. Go close to opponents so we can aura them to death. Obviously would like it if the auras were global. Run them down, my pets. And we got a secret room over here. And three intelligence, making the aura even bigger. And it's much more powerful. Epic weapons, might as well find something. Levels, I think I can't even consume them. I can consume them. They don't do anything, though. Uh, obviously, we're gonna go epic weapons. We can high roll this easily into legendaries. And here we go. Bulwark wand. This is what we're gonna use. S on strength, X on dex. Literally what I'm gonna use. There is no way I'm not gonna use this. Dark Wizard Staff and Berserker Axis. Yeah, we don't care about this. This is even fire damage, which I'm still a fire build. So that's nice. And it has a very, very slow attack speed. It's happy. That means higher lucky hit chance. 
Let's equip it on the spot. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, when you say Balrog, you actually mean Diablo. Diablo. Let's go here. We have four keys. And once again, we have high roll into high roll abilities. These are tracking attack. Okay, we found something busted. And this is actually Diablo from, I don't remember. Whoa, look at this high roll. 50,000 bombs. Pawn shop for sure. Let's sell my old weapon and my old... Yeah, we're going to sell my old weapon. This is never going to be used again. I'm also going to sell my old uh, Cloak of Mana. This is also never going to be used again. We stick to the aura effect. I still do not have boots. This is unbelievable. Uh, shop. It might roll boots. It might have boots. Honka, honka. We found the clown mask. Machine gun. It doesn't have boots. Unbelievable. Uh, let's go intelligence, of course. And then you increase my aura. This is the Diablo with the tracking shot attacks. The, we, we broke the game once again. Uh, nature, of course. We're going to power up my pets even more. Specifically, the pets we care most about. Which is the good old wolf companion. Uh, how am I? Yeah, wolf. Wolf, for sure. I wanted to see how I am with um, weight limits, but I'm okay. Obviously, we go event. What is this? Worth at least five coins, rusty key. I can sell it. And then you choose one of these three. Use the rusty key. Yes. Click. You open the lock, but the key... Crumbled to dust, and I got what? Architect's boots! I found boots! During combat, probably spawn a crystal pickup every five seconds. Collecting three of these pickup doubles your attack speed for four seconds. Oh, hey, we found something. Strength against intelligence, no. Consumables, yes. This might high roll into more gain of stats. This might high roll into a bunch of things. Okay, we're avoiding everything that we can. We have my tracking shots. Not global, though. I haven't seen a crystal on the ground. This is what it could high roll into. Every time I find strength for the next three times, we're gonna get plus one strength and a spirit heart. It literally high rolled it exactly what I was about to, I was expecting to get. I mean, not exactly because I didn't call it out, of course, but that's about what you expect on high rolling. And this is the crystal, for example. Boom, I have one buff. It's gonna stay for how long? Cursed guaranteed all our set. I don't care about sets. I once again want everything legendary. Epic. Epic is good. Epic is good. Because Epic can high roll into legendary. Okay, boss is toast. Next. And guess what? Boss is toast. Oh, boss is not toast. No, boss is toast. Oh, almost got hit. And I perfected the whole floor. So, well, you know, maybe, maybe I should listen to people telling me to play <laughs> on higher ascensions. I don't know, man. Ascensions, by the way, only make the game more um, not fun. Like, they, may I'm going to read through them at the end if you care about them. I don't care about this. I'm just increased movement speed per curse. I'm not curse build. Aegis. Self repair armor on completing an encounter room. What? If I had this. I mean, obviously, I'm going to stick to what I have because it's pets. But if I had this, this is insane. I would have had four life because this is not giving me any gray. I would have had four life and every single encounter I could get hit four times and still be okay. This is insanely powerful. Emblem of Bahamut. Increased damage depending on how good your ailment is. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have enough ailment to go to the super duper secret boss. No. I only. Oh, I'm plus four. Yes. <laughs> so lucky. Emblem of Bahamut. Doubles against dragons, which is the boss, by the way. 80% increased damage, man. Wait a minute. This is an accessory. What's my accessory? My accessory is plus one block. Okay, we buy this accessory. Although. How many gold dice do we have? One. Okay, I'm, I'm taking this. <laughs> If I had more than one, I would have not have taken it. But now we're going to take this. And I have 80% damage, just like that. Increase, that is. Not multiplicative, of course. Let's see where my damage stat is at before I continue on. And now I can obviously increase something. Offense. Damage is at 431%. Okay, I'm going to buy a dash here. We don't need souls anymore. Very well. What do you want? Boom. A dash. A dash. Yep, this is the best, by the way. Always get dash, in my opinion. Uh, let's go with, obviously, my power up my pets. Dash through those boys. I have triple dash. I don't think anything is going to survive. Level up one. And always the wolves, as those are the most damage providing. We don't have inventory space issues, right? No, we don't. Uh, let's go with golden one. Actually, intelligence. Ah, let's go golden chest. I could high roll intelligence. By the way, the laser boys, they used to be the most stupid enemy in the game. Uh, specifically, they used to, when you spawned three of them at the same time, they would fire at the same time. They made them easier. Now they fire one at a time. I'm gonna go key. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, the attack speed's awesome. Dash through the whole room. 
Got a key. So the Dex 33, I'm gonna take this. It gives us attack speed. The idea is we just run in the middle as fast as we can so that everything gets affected by curses. Intelligence against Dex, yes. Like we run through, dash, dash, everything dies. Run through, dash, dash, everything dies. I don't care about any of these. Uh, multiple potions. Oh, I'm out of luck. Drink this. Roll, by the way. Consumables, this might high roll into a bunch of things. I like more intelligence scaling or uh, anti curse or level up a weapon. My weapon's plus two, might as well make it plus three. And forget the armor repair, let's go with dispel curse. I mean, I already have dispel curse three times. Intelligence plus three, that's very lucky, as that is crazy aura effect. I'm sp I, until I'm done with my three dashes, opponents are dead already. One random potion. No. Yes, yeah, strength index. I mean, mainly strength dex is irrelevant. Whoa. And mainly strength because I care about getting my... First of all, increase here and also more inventory space. Three intelligence. Very nice, very nice. Best in slot, actually. I'm just dashing through, man. Dashing through. We broke the game. As always, we broke the game. Well, in retrospect, it would be nice if you could in I increase the Dragon Slayer Lance. Okay, we're gonna carry this. What does this do? Ruthless hit. Okay, whatever. I don't care about it. Uh, whoop, that's a mimic. Let's go. Double mimic for equipment. We high rolled into Necro Torch. Grants damage to melee attacks. Useless. What is this? Grants necrotic damage to melee attacks. Wait. Did I read the same thing twice? Yep. Kimono. Grants to stamina. No. Legendary Hermes Sandals. Gain full stacks of speed boost every second. Speed boost is a stack of a buff that grants 18% increased movement speed per stack. Stack. Stacks last. So 10. It says max. So this is 10 stacks every second. They last on second. So that's permanent. This is 18%. This is 180% movement speed. Assassin's Gloves. 10% uh, critted chance with enemies affected by damage over time. I mean, might as well. This is straight up crits. Uh, you know what? I don't need three anti curse. Let's sell one. Let's drop one. And let's test these out. Because honestly, this is never happening. Finding rest. Okay, obviously, I tune for free. I'm speedy boy now. And we're gonna definitely roll into everything is legendary. Everything is epic is also good. Once again, we have a capacity of high rolling. I think we want to go with this. Even though there is one charm here, it's only one. Let's go with everything is epic. This can also roll into charms in the first place. Whoop, opponent's dead. Didn't even do a single wall hit. Oh, did a one wall hit. And now he's gonna do the laser beam thing. And he's dying. And he's done. Fastest kill of boss ever. I'm gonna repeat here. The damage I'm doing would not change with Cinder. Um, maybe only one Cinder challenge that says that you start with half damage at boss fights. That's like the only Cinder challenge that would make this different. On an amulet. Your final element status effect persists definitely useless. We Everything does instantly. Um, at, what do I look... What do I search for? Gloves? Boots? Maybe helmet. Uh, adds your invincibility duration after taking damage to the duration of your status element. Useless. Zodiac loop. Primary attacks. Circle through a repeating sequence of guaranteed luck, guaranteed curse, guaranteed crit, guaranteed ruthless, guaranteed crushing, and guaranteed... It's... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, so it rolls through a bunch of buffs other than cursed. I mean, all of them are buffs again, uh, other than cursed. This is good. Accessory. Not really as good, though. When draining an accumulated amount of mana, inflict corruption to all enemies in the room. Mm, also, that's a helmet that at least does damage. I'm gonna roll these. I'm rolling these. I would like to maybe get an amulet, or... Maybe I should have gone with a guaranteed amulet. Because amulets seem to be rare here. Wow, I found one though. What is this? Fire weapon upgrade. I have a fire weapon, so this is making my weapon plus one. Nice. Beetle armor, which is 10% multiplicative damage. Beetle armor. Two beetles. 10% increased melee damage. Ah. No, the aura is better. And the aura is better because it makes my pets do more damage, right? Because these auras do damage. Um, and give the pets damage. Increase melee attack, no. Revive. We're gonna get this. Now my weapon is plus four, so that means 10% more damage done. Let's go. Not the best in slot that I could have gotten. But we're gonna run around and go destroy the light zone today. Proceed into light with my pets and my bulwark. Let's double check because you never know when you're gonna make a mistake. Plus four and pure, so we are correct. And let's also go with offense. What's my damage at? 360. Okay, very round number. Didn't I have 4,000 at some point? 400 something at some point? Did I reduce my damage somehow? 
Feels like I reduced my damage somehow. Uh, Soul Heart, for sure. Hope oh, laser boys. Okay, opponent starts surviving, it seems. My pets are not doing that much. Equipment capacity. I am super okay with equipment capacity. Let's maybe get a set item. You never know what you're gonna roll. You really never know what you're gonna roll. Let's see, maybe there is some kind of pet build. Layer Mantle, Assassin Hood is maxed out, which does what? Increase critical hits. Wait, ailments inflict by critical hits have increased effect. Okay. Layer Mantle. Burn tick speed is faster. Well, that's not getting changed, man. And this is a hood, which means it's a helmet. Oh, this can change. You know what? Let's actually, yeah, let's change this. I don't need my luck anymore. Oh, I got Assassin's Hood. By the way, somebody told me that you can have the equipment. Uh, just You just need the equipment to be in your backpack. That is guaranteed not true. Here, let me show you. You see? Fatal Fate deactivated. Done. As simple as that. Uh, this is not needed anymore. And money is also not needed anymore. There are no shops from here on out. Uh, now I have 20% increased hit chance for both of these against enemies affected by damage over time, which is everybody. And this is just straight up 10%. What's my crit hit chance right now? It's 47% crit hit chance. And then this says ailments inflicted. I mean, the set says ailments inflicted by crits increase effect. Attack speed against XP on the pets. XP on the pets guaranteed. Okay, so now we got a set item. Not that it's a useful one for us. Let's go use. Spirit Companion. Spirit Wolves, obviously. Now my damage got even higher. 473. Resin. Uh, let's go with Resin, yeah. That's a free elemental effect. Pretty much. And it's Lightning. That's nice. Although useless, because I already do Lightning damage. Crit hit chance. Might as well go for that. Might as well increase my crit chance by a bit. Uh, obviously, highest, in highest attribute is the best. Uh, I could reroll a thing or two. Rainbow in a bottle. Someone's a gnome companion. Oh, legendary companion item. What? Grants plus one luck. What? Does a 260 to 1,800 damage. How much does my mimic do? Oh, this does less. Oh. This is less. Yeah, because this is melee damage. And this is magic damage. I'm switching companions. Uh, what is this? Each ball grants arms increase effect of rage and fury. Oh, this is also an insane companion. What is this? Rocket launcher, who cares? Okay, so obviously this is very good. The magic finds really good. But we're switching over to rainbow. As that does more damage in itself. Uh, we're gonna go here, even though it's cursed. I do have anti-curse. That's exactly why I'm carrying this whole anti-curse. Let's go. Okay, opponent's toast. Opponent's instantly toast. Let's get this. Remove the curse on the spot. Let's go on. With a chance, yes. If I miss a secret room, then so be it. Doesn't really matter. By the way, this not only is good because it does more damage, but it also gives luck. Luck is better than magic find. Uh, magic find is better for finding godlike things, but I think. But luck is better for damage, <laughs> as it gives you lucky hit chance, right? Uh, my potion's out, so let's also drink the final potion here. Boots. I'm still searching. You know what? We're gonna once again roll for everything is legendary. Everything is epic. I'm gonna say I can find everything is legendary. I'm gambling here. I mean, obviously you gamble with dice. Uh, well, I made a mistake. We're gonna go with everything is a companion, I guess. Should have gone with everything is epic, obviously, in hindsight. But gambling is the name of the game here when you have nine dice. Just run close to him. And that should be a win. Didn't get hit. Let's go to phase two. Where he just fly... He's gone. There is no phase two. There is nothing. There are no mechanics. Okay, I think from tomorrow I'm going to start using uh, higher Cinder levels as people have requested. Let's see what we can find here. Our companions. Maybe a legendary companion. Wow, trash. This, this what you just saw here is why I'm not going for the... What is it called? I'm not going for the... Um, you are guaranteed to find one charm, right? Because things like these happen. Let's pick up the light bulb and let's go. Let's also see what the light bulb looks like. It's an eel. Woo! <laughs> we stick to the rainbow gnome. Only pure goodness. Yeah, look at me. Don't I look like a pure goodness to you? Does this not look like pure goodness to you? <laughs> Definitely looks like pure goodness to me. Yep, open the door. Tuck, tuck, tuck. FBI. Open up. I mean, this is still better. Speed boost. So we move fast and we avoid everything. Although moving fast is also relevant. With 19 souls, we can't buy anything. Let's go attack speed 1, 2.5%. Yeah, so from here on out, the points are going to be a bit more powerful. 
damage with non criticized attribute, which is dexterity intelligence, by the way. And everything's dead. Get my intelligence and continue. Booze against equipment. Might as well go equipment. We might high roll some kind of crazy glow or something that I'm not aware of right now. Okay, let's just stay away. And easy win. And we high rolled. Boom. Into a soul lantern. Increase primary attack damage per soul heart you have against, you know, 20% attack speed and two warriors, which gives you also a lot of other things. We'll carry this with us, of course. A crit a chance. Let's continue with that. Okay, we got him. Got them all. Very nice. Highest attribute, obviously. Just going into the room kills them. I want to not attack once to see what happens. Let's go for bombs. I don't know. Do they die? Oh, they die. They die, all right. Like, yes, I do a lot of things, but even not attacking does a lot of things. I don't need to be attacking. Look at this. And they're all dead. This, this is more busted than what it looks like. Uh, get a key or a lucky hit. Let's go to lucky hit, I guess. So the weapon might not even be the thing that carries us here. I don't think it is the thing that carries us in the first place. Let's go. Uh, I don't have enough souls for any of these. You know, items, and let's go. Let's go for a win. Easy enough. Is there anything here I, ha I need to drink or use? I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go destroy Angelmon. I, I, I want to not attack once. I'm not going to attack once. I'm not going to attack a single time. If we lose, we lose, you know, but I don't think we're going to lose. I'm not going to attack. Let's see how good the auras plus the pets are. Even if it's going to be a slow fight. I'm accepting the loss here. Okay, it's going well right now. She is sending out poison blades, by the way. So if I get hit here, my healing is done. And now the mechanic is to avoid everything. I'm not going to attack, as I said. This is really reminding me of... Uh, Smash Brothers. Or if this hits you, you're dead. Okay, this is going cool. Never seen this pattern ever. Contact damage could have killed us easily there. Okay, this is still going well. I still have not gotten hit. And we got the first half. Let's see how hard this fight is at the second half. Once again, never fought this before. And never actually allowed this to survive this much. Whoa. Very mixable. I love it though. Design is awesome. Whoa, design is awesome. And also it's dying. What? Choose your destiny. Up, up, boom. Up, up, boom. Up, boom. Up, boom. Up, boom. Did I get it? Huh? You choose where you're supposed to block. And the star was where I was. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I love the design. Ooh, I love stuff like this. I'm supposed to dodge and avoid. Okay, got it. I'm really enjoying this fight, man. We won. This fight is awesome. I love it. I love it. The laser beams are awesome. The the thing there at the end, which is like they choose where you want to block and then it shoots them. Where, it's so awesome. I love this fight, man. This is such an awesome fight. And it was such a good decision not attacking at all. I think we would have burned it down into within seconds. So nice. As you saw, this build works. Like even if I didn't have a single legendary. Let's actually give me a second here. Let's actually go through this. This here obviously was needed, but weapon was not needed, right? And even these assassins would, like, both of these were not needed because I stopped attacking. Uh, this definitely helped, but I think the only thing that this build actually was, was these two. I'm not really sure if this even affects the aura. I, I can't actually know if it affects the aura, but the, the build was this with the increased effect and then this, the Spear Warriors. That's it. And I would have been even better if I obviously had more of all of those. But uh, yeah, what an awesome, 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 awesome build. I really enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, maybe I should have gone with the Poison Aura. I mean, no, because I definitely wanted the bigger auras. Still awesome build, uh, powerful. And the, I guess, Druid that no longer looks like a Druid is a nice class here to have gotten a win with. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's actually also get the win here. I don't think we have anything to gain from winning. So yeah, this is just me doing an outro and at the end, even God's Fall. At least my pets survived, right? No, we lost all the pets. Whoop, boom. And we are in our own blood drinking habits as always. And we got another win here. Very nice. Tomorrow I think I'm gonna play Kratos or Barbarian from Diablo. My editor told me it's the Barbarian from Diablo. To me, it looks like Kratos. I don't know, man. What do you think this guy is? That's a good question. I also have a ninja. I also have... Uh, this is Goku, so to speak. Level 25 Paragon does not really help us. There are so many different characters here. She has telekinetic powers, finds specific things, traits. This guy, Berserker Strength. I, I still believe it's Kratos. Although with double axes, maybe it is a barbarian. Maybe my guy is correct. 
This is busted, man. This is completely and utterly busted. I want to play this tomorrow, man. I want to break the game. And maybe if I play Kratos, maybe I'm going to play with higher difficulty levels. By the way, for everybody that's sticked here at the end that wants to see what they are, uh, I'm going to now go through all of them. So thanks for watching. For everybody else, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be playing this more. I'm going to be breaking this more. And let me go through these so that you guys can maybe comment down below what you want to actually see, what you believe is fair, what you believe is trash. And uh, then maybe I'm going to choose those that you guys say. Of course, I'm recording a lot of these back to back. So there is a good chance I'm not going to instantly next video uh, do what you say. But otherwise, that's it. So once again, thanks for watching. Let's go through these here. Boss have 25% less health and armor in the first phase, but 25% more health and armor in the second phase. This is fair. This this I should actually use right away. Your starting weapon has a negative enhancement. Weapons are more likely to spawn with negative enhancement. Uh, I I hate it as a thing, but it's manageable. Floors contain up to three times more packs of enhanced enemies. Fair enough. Uh, stam I mean, this is going to kill us early game, but late game is not going to matter. Stamina regeneration is delayed by three seconds on floor one, two, and three. Um, for three seconds floor one two seconds floor two and one second floor three so this is literally i i was using this anyway like this doesn't matter it, it tells you that early game you should not use dodges that's what this is some doors appear spiked inflicting one damage to you when you go through spike doors can also be bombed to remove the spikes ah i did not know that you can bomb them to remove the spikes well this is a yes then if you can bomb them to remove the spikes then this is a yes because it's just use more bombs and i'm always ending the game with 20 bombs so this is n n no thing i did not read this line ever that's why i didn't use that otherwise i would not use this by the way if this did not say bomb them i would never use this i i hate being forced to lose life bosses are initially accompanied by two solo automatons automatons reinforced are called in second phase that's just the boss fights are a bit harder i don't really enjoy this i do enjoy the boss as they are this is never gonna be used here two inventory slots i it's it's just a feel bad mechanic i don't think anybody wants this right i don't think anybody cares about this increased chance for cursed rewards to appear i hate this too because this forces you into cursed although there is a character this guy over here nope uh, this guy over here depraved which says you uh, encounter more cursed rooms but cursed rooms rewards always upgrade so you can go full on harms and curse build with this guy which could be cool um so yeah we continue increase higher cursed reward chance i hate that as a mechanic uh, curses is very bad. Bosses are initially, yeah, we read that. And bosses, mimics, and ballistas are enhanced. I mean, basilisks. Basilisks are specific enemies that exist. Um, maybe this makes all the boss fights harder, like uh, insanely harder, and also borderline unfair. By the way, I have beaten the game with all the paragon levels. Maybe a cut's gonna appear at the top right if the editor finds this part of it. Otherwise, come down below and said that the editor didn't find to put the card up there, and then maybe we're gonna read it and put the card up there. So, I did do an everything. Uh, anyway, let's go on. This here, the bosses are enhanced, is sometimes unfair, because, for example, you might fight that final boss that says, uh, as you saw, you have to avoid in specific spots, and then the enhancement drops bombs on you, for example, and then you have no safe spot anywhere, right? So, this can make the game very unfair. But maybe people want this. By the way, I want just to make clear something. If this was active and the boss was enhanced, I would have killed it. Like, right? Like, I would forcefully kill it. So maybe this is irrelevant too. Adds additional oppressive enemy enhancement into the pool of enemy enhancements. This is fair enough. The enhancements are going to be more powerful. That's it. Your first set of trial trait choices will not reveal any information about traits but their attribute types. So it's going to be just do you want a blue, a blue, or a green? So obviously this is not a challenge, it's just the start is stupid. I don't think this warrants a challenge. Uh, poison lasts longer, I always have this active, like who cares about poison honestly. Uh, enhanced enemy packs are enhanced with an additional modifier. So this is double enhanced enemies. This makes the game very RNG heavy. So that's why I don't have that. You start with plus one heart, uh, with only one heart. You start without any inherit soul hearts and your armor starts not repair it your health flask start empty so this just makes the start harder uh, just to be clear this here if you play the game like if i play the game yes it's gonna be a challenge but for youtube this literally means i'm gonna just throw away five or six runs until i get a good run that's that's what this means by the way uh, this was my first try on this by the way so uh, that was lucky that we got a good run on the druid anyway so th this is you're never gonna see the difficulty of this ever because every single time this makes my life harder uh, you're not gonna see it because the video is gonna be dead, right? This might make sense on live streams, maybe. Uh, bosses subdue you for eight seconds when the fight starts, and upon transitioning into phase two, uh, subdue makes you deal 50% damage. So this means for the first eight seconds, you cannot kill the bill, the boss. This might be the one thing that makes the uber busted builds not be uber busted. This might be the one fair thing that makes the game unbreakable, in my opinion. 
because it says less and less means multiplicative so it's gonna literally cut your damage in half on the other hand if you would kill the boss in three seconds this is gonna make it so it dies in six seconds it's not gonna do that much of a difference if you kill it in one second this is gonna make it die in two seconds like it but the difference is that if you would kill it in eight seconds actually no if you would kill it in four seconds then you're gonna kill it in eight which is the maximum uh, amount that this lasts right because if you would kill it in eight seconds then you would still kill it like in nine or ten because the moment you got your damage back you would kill it anyway it doesn't really matter this might be fair and then a soul automaton x variant will sometimes invade a common encounter and attack you this is just an oppressive thing if you guys think you want to see this maybe but i guess this is the paragon level i would play once again, reasoning being, I hate curses, I hate uh, so small inventory space, uh, this just makes the boss fight a bit more wanky and random, this just makes you need to kill those automatons, uh, so it just uh, makes the game a bit weirder. Uh, your first set of traits and choices, this is just RNG, I don't care about it, bosses and whatnot, this is gonna force me, uh, no, I don't know, I don't know. I think the three I would I would consider the following. I would consider that the only th four things that I'm not mm, doing that I could have done is one, two, three, four. Right? Automaton spawning on bosses, fair enough. Bosses being enhanced, fair enough. And soul uh, uh, enemies appearing that are harder to fight, fair enough. And opponents having double enhanced, fair enough. But the rest, uh, this here is pretty much never be showcased because youtube when the die runs this is not gonna be showcased and this is pretty much just forcing me to play harder this here is stupid in my opinion this here is also stupid and this here is just unluckiness and i hate unluckiness <laughs> that's how you're lucky by the way you avoid unluckiness uh, maybe if i play the deprived i'm gonna do that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that's going to be it for today we still have all the points but i don't believe that all the points are worth it if i had all 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 the points then maybe it would be worth it to play with even more Paragons. But for more tomorrow, I guess I'm gonna play with these, just because people have asked for them. And I would like... To, you know what? This year, I think Conqueror's Will, this year, is the one I should always, always, always use. Maybe. Maybe. Just so that I don't explode bosses all the time, because I'm exploding bosses very easily if I want to. So th this is gonna make the boss fights be a bit more fun, because that fight with Angemon was so awesome. I loved it. What an awesome fight, man. What can I say? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, uh, thanks for sticking here at the end for the explanation about why I'm not really using Cinder levels and why I will be using them from here on out. As you read through all of them, I guess, if you stayed through those. Um, yeah, you see, a couple of them are not really fun. They're just restrictive the restriction is never fun making the game harder is fun for some making the game challenging is fun for some not for me i enjoy having fun i enjoy exploding things uh, but there are a lot of people that are like no we want to see somebody uh, beat a challenge and we want to see the game at the hardest way possible and whatnot i don't know why i'm doing this voice as if i'm trash talking it's opinions man some people enjoy having fun and beating games and then going on with their life some people enjoy challenging themselves to feel accomplishment which is also fair right it's how you feel anyway hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around